serving the Shenandoah Valley and Central Virginia. This is Virginia Weekend at 6. Well, good evening. I'm Shelby Martin, and you're watching Virginia Weekend. Glad you could join us. An escaped inmate is now back in custody, according to the Page County Sheriff's Office. 26-year-old Ashton Blaine Cook ran away from Page Memorial Hospital while there for medical treatment. Cook was charged Saturday night with DUI driving after forfeiture of a license and resisting arrest. There was heavy police presence in and around the hospital area this morning. A drone and canine, along with multiple law enforcement agencies, helped locate Cook. Meanwhile, Virginia State Police is investigating a two-vehicle crash that occurred this morning on I-81 northbound near the 228-mile marker. Augusta County Fire Rescue received the call at 420 this morning. Two tractor trailers were involved and the driver was still entrapped when the units arrived. Several of those units were at the scene and the driver was transported to UVA. We'll keep you updated as we know more. All right, well, we definitely felt a bit of a chill in the air this morning. Grant, how are you feeling today with the cold? Well, I'm not doing great, but it's okay <laughs> because we got some showers, which is what we really needed. Unfortunately, not a whole lot. Serving the Shenandoah Valley in Central Virginia, this is Virginia Weekend at 11. Good evening, I'm Shelby Martin, and you're watching Virginia Weekend. Glad you could join us. An escaped inmate is now back in custody, according to the Page County Sheriff's Office. 26-year-old Ashton Blaine Cook ran away from Page Memorial Hospital while there for medical treatment. Cook was charged Saturday night with DUI, driving after forfeiture of license and resisting arrest. There was heavy police presence in and around the hospital area this morning. A drone, canine, and multiple law enforcement agencies helped locate Cook. And Virginia State Police is investigating a two-vehicle crash that occurred this morning on I-81 northbound, near the 228-mile marker. Augusta County Fire Rescue received the call at 420 this morning. Two tractor trailers were involved, and the driver was still entrapped. Several units were at the scene, and the driver was then transported to UVA. We'll keep you updated as we know more. In cities like Charlottesville, pedestrian safety is an important issue. The Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Committee and Charlottesville Parks and Recreation had a community walk to address people's concerns. Gabby Womack brings us the details. The Charlottesville community came together to walk around 10th and Page to learn about pedestrian safety. They're the ones who are walking, cycling, driving here day by day. They, they know what the problems are. Um, I think it's easy for us to kind of come to a place and use theory to, to say this is a problem. James Van Vranken is the chair of the Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Committee. Sidewalks and bike routes were the biggest concern from walkers. The walk was a way to help with safety concerns such as bigger sidewalks and more street lighting. An equity issue that a lot of people don't have the safety or the perceived safety of being in a car. And there's something um, so much more human about being on your own two feet. and.